Well, what do you think? Do you think I asked for it? No. So it's unfair, right? It's just the way it happened. I didn't ask for it, but I got it. What is it, anyway? What do you mean, what is it? You can see it for yourself! Stop. I know what... I can see that it's there, but I don't know what it is. You see, I'm looking at him. Oh, right. Fine, sorry. Yeah. Great. Seven minutes. I think we can get it down. Yeah? Yeah. There are no words to describe what it's like to be on stage. It's enthralling, it's magical, it's, it's an amazing joy. One, two, three. <laughs> working with archetypes of Sam Shepard, which is for women, the wife and the lover is one, and then there's the mother, and then there's the daughter. I think he taps into human emotions and like the really primal, raw things that maybe people are afraid to talk about or it's not okay to talk about. So he taps into that, and we all have that going underneath, you know, like the animal, so, yeah. A huge hand grabs me from behind. Cedar has great value because it's very much present. When you go into a theater, especially a small black box, which is my favorite kind of theater. You're very intimately close with the actors and you get to see them be very vulnerable on stage. You know how to recognize poison, right? You know how to recognize it when you see it? We're working on a sort of this large culmination that revolves around Sam Shepard and his work. And I never really put this connection together, but uh, there's all these alcoholic fathers and my father was an alcoholic. And just, just that, that connection alone makes me connect to the process a lot more, but it makes me see how much that experience with my father affects me now and how I can sort of translate it into the work itself when I have to play a specific scene. Evie leads the horse over to the sycamore and tosses the free end of the rope up to me. He tries to pull the whole damn tree down on top of himself. You just hang tight to that branch, son, because this bugger's about ready to come apart. The horse makes one powerful, quick jerk, shaking his head like a lion, but the rubber tube snaps him right back down to reality. <clears throat> hang in there, son, you do just fine. I can see the yelling fix his mind. A suicidal. Decision passes through his mind. And as he lives the thought and runs down his spine as he stretches out and pulls all 1,200 pounds of raw muscle against that gleaming white rope. A long, slow, suspended action as the energy pulls like tacky and little chips of rubber start to pop off from the extreme tension. The branch below me begins to bow and creak. The whole world bends sideways for a long, lazy second. It's not perfect, but it's real, and it's right there. And that moment that you create on stage, it never goes away. It happened, and you can't ever recreate it. And that's what I think is so beautiful, is that you get to see everybody right there for who they are. There's no mask that they hide behind. They're putting themselves out there. And um, that's what I like to do. I like to show people who I am. <laughs> 